What's going on, everybody? And welcome back to another episode of the Photo Winners Podcast. Today, we got this man. This this dude is a fool, man. Every time I watch his videos, I'll be literally fucking dead. His name is his name, Maurice, on IG, Twitter, everywhere you can find him at his name, Maurice. He's a content creator. Matter of fact, let me, I'll just let him introduce himself because he can do it way better than I can. So go ahead and introduce yourself, brother. Let them know who you are, where they can find you, and what you do. What's going on, friends and family and uh, customers, clients, everybody out there? My name is Maurice, but as you know, I go by my social media name. His name Maurice, or you can follow my actual business page, uh, which is where all my content is, on Instagram at ambition.media110. You can also type in his name Maurice to pop up. Everybody knows me as a TV mount guy, but uh, I'm here today with my guy, and we want to answer some questions for you. So uh, let's get started. Let's get it. Let's get it. So first and foremost, when I first found you, when I first found you, you was going viral off of this TV, off of this TV mounting video. Facts. You made, right? And you was like, you was sitting on top of the damn mountain. You like, (laughs) and you literally just, literally just going crazy, talking and promoting it, promoting your service promoting your service uh, on, on social media. Now, that's when I first saw you. So just to, just to backtrack a little bit for the people who may not be hip to who he is. So first and foremost, he's a content creator, but he also, he has a TV mounting service. So he was starting to go viral because like his aver- the, the way that he was advertising himself over social media was just funny as fuck. And it was just like completely like, left field. And I'll even like, attach like a clip of uh of the video that i'm talking about but he's a content creator first and foremost and like i said he had a tv mounted service and he was using this content to really push uh his, his tv mount his tv mounted service so like everybody already knows i'm big on everybody knows that i believe that content creators are the new business people always so, so and every everybody know everybody knows I believe this. And I'm just speaking like from my from my first hand experience, because me, I'm a content creator and I built my entire business on the back of me just putting out cool ass videos and shit like that. That's how I first started. <laughs> Facts. You know, uh started pretty much selling selling the service behind it. Now with you, what I wanted to ask you is like how how long have you been creating content on social media? Let's, let's, let's just put that out there. Like, oh, how, man. How, how long I've been creating content on social media? Dude, I've been in the game since, like, 2011. Since face, since since I first started, which is on Facebook, I've been booming with content creation. Like, back on Facebook, I used to create memes, like uh, the, four, the four collage picture memes with words on it. And that's when I really started a long time ago. Didn't know I was going to blow up off of um, Mountain TVs, but uh, it happened. It definitely happened. Definitely happened. And they, uh, it's paying off in the long run, actually. Mm-hmm. It's paying off in the long run. Um, new people that I meet on a daily basis, uh, the money is flowing in real nice. Um Oh, I got the followers. I got I got everybody on my side, basically rooting for me, you know, to keep going, keep doing what you're doing. Where there's mountain TVs, where there's making funny content, because I can do both, which is why I mixed a little bit of both to get where I'm at today. Mm-hmm. So like, all right. So you've been creating content for a long time now. Now, when you were making stuff back then, were you just posting stuff just to post it? Like, were you put or or was your mind set on like? Like, yo, like, I'm really trying to be a content creator, like for a living, or what you know what I mean? Because some people, just, yeah, some facts, people, yeah, because some people like just trip into it, you know what I mean? Facts. Some people actually are like working towards that, you know what I'm saying? So, like, what was what was your process like back? What was your thought process back in the day when you was when you first started making stuff? Honestly, uh, I was born laughing, I came out the womb playing too damn much, so we're just gonna start <laughs> off with that. Oh, um, back then, my my specialty was making content, but I honestly did it because I'm I am who I am. I did it because I'm just a funny, funny dude. So it's just like all the stuff I was putting out. It wasn't 
full so towards making just regular content for people. It's really for myself, just to see where I, I was challenging myself to see if I can be better than the next person, the next person. Oh, he think he's funny, he think he's cool, oh, and I can be better than him. That's That was my goal back then. And then it migrated into, I just want to do it for the people. I want to do it to make people laugh because honestly, that's what my spirit and my soul is. I just like making people laugh and just having a good time. So it's just like it come as a natural, like it's it's, it's nature to me. It's, it's come it comes natural. So it's just like I don't really try to do it. It just happens. Right. So and I, I like what you said. How you said you was like making content to be better than better than somebody else. Because I feel that. like I honestly feel like I feel like that's actually a good trait because that's where like the entrepreneurial end could come in that when you actually want to really beat people, you know what I'm saying? That, so that like, competitive, that competitive trait. And I got that real strong. And a it's running in my bloodline. And a lot of, and a lot of creators don't really have that, that, that a lot of creators that try to like start and we're going to dig into this later, later on in the conversation, but like a lot of creators that try to start businesses or sell things behind nice. the content don't really have that competitive edge and it really ends up like kind of biting them in the ass in the long run because you need i well i feel like there's there's certain people who believe okay you know the only person you're competing with is yourself you know what i'm saying and the only which is true to an extent you know what I'm facts but if you actually compete in like for customers and shit like that. Now you know. Yeah, it's, that's it's, a whole nother ball game right exactly. there. Exactly, like it's that's a whole, a whole nother ball game. game. Whole ball game. So like, that's why I feel like what you just said there was like super, like really, 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 really dope. Now, when you were when you were making stuff back then, did anything like really pick up like during that time, or you was just it was just like a few laughs or like a few likes or whatever back then? You just um. Kept, so back then when I used to make content, I used to go based off of like my my uh my fan base, really. Um I would make a video or make a, a meme or something back in the day and I would see what the people like. What what do they like? Cuz you you know what they like versus uh, you you know what somebody like when you see the likes that you get, uh the comments, the shares and what everybody likes to see. I'll mainly go based off of what's happening in the moment versus picking something up from back in the day or picking something up in the future. I would literally make my content off of what's happening right now. So I'll make something funny about, uh, for, for say like the president or something or, or what's going on in school or what I see around my environment, what's going on. So that's the kind of content I used to make back in the day. Now, okay. Okay, that made sense. Now, what platforms, What pl- are you, st- you said you started on Facebook, but then, you know, Instagram started popping off, Thanks. Twitter, YouTube. Now, what was your main platform after that that you was really creating on? Back in the day or as far as right now? Like more more sort more like in the past, let's just say like the past four years. Let's past say- four years, it's been Instagram. It's been Instagram 100 percent Way back and back in like 2012 to like 2014, 15, it was Facebook mainly. And then I migrated to Instagram. I never really it's the crazy part about it is I blew up on Twitter and never really used Twitter like that. Like I never only t- only thing I did on Twitter and the only thing still to this day that I do on Twitter is go in there and laugh because it's a lot of funny stuff on Twitter. A lot of funny stuff to retweet on Twitter. And I was hoping you answer that question like that. Honestly, I was really hoping you answer that question like that. Because Twitter is a very slept on platform, but it's That's super relevant. Like me, I built my entire business on the back of Twitter. Like, because the thing about Twitter that other platforms don't have is that fucking retweet function. Like, it's that you can you can literally go viral so easily over Twitter. Like, like literally just today, like literally just today, one of my posts went viral. It got like damn near like a thousand retweets and, and some shit. You know what I'm saying? Just today, and it was only posted like maybe a couple of hours ago. You know what I mean? No, and, and I'm off, trying that, to tell you. off that tweet. I done made like damn near 20 sales. Like literally, and I tell people every day, like, bro, I make like five hundred dollars minimum on Twitter per day. That's like literally. per fucking day. Like Twitter is a very slept on platform for that for that exact reason of how quick you can go viral, especially for the shit that you make. Like the shit that you make, you can easily go, easily go viral on there. Cause it's nothing That's but a fact. Jokes. 
like literally nothing but jokes and like hella sensitive ass people on Twitter, bro. That's why I'll be on Twitter all the time. I literally I don't even make a tweet. I go on there and I retweet. I quote some things, but I mainly go on there to retweet and post because Twitter is because mine's came literally on overnight success. Like I posted that video. Bro, so fucking quick on there, dude. Like, Facts. I, I seen this one girl. I don't know if you peeped this girl, but uh. It was this girl. She had she was selling like some candles or some or like some type of wax candles or whatever. And then uh, I guess she couldn't sell them. And then her boyfriend came on the camera. It was like just spilling out like oh, that was that was up with the candles and shit like that. He was like body is fucking candles. Like you know what I'm saying? Like really like. And she went overnight viral, bro. And now her shit is like booming. Now she's like, booming. Like. Is a poor sense or something or something like that? I'm gonna have to go in there and like, check. Yeah, but like literally, bro. Oh, you can literally go overnight, like overnight success type type of shit on Twitter. Now, when they go to your Instagram, when they go to your Instagram, how long did it take you to really start picking up on uh, on Instagram? From a TV mountain. Just from making. I'm speaking specifically. Just, just in not, general. Yeah. So Instagram, literally, Instagram will probably take about a few days because. Where Instagram is more so like who's gonna see it versus what they're gonna see. What I mean by that is on uh, Twitter, you can literally post something and they won't even watch it. They'll see it got a whole bunch of retweets and be like, oh, I gotta share this automatically. Exactly. That's and versus Instagram, they gotta actually, they, they're watching to see like what, what's really gonna go on. Are we gonna actually like it and repost it or are we just gonna like, give them just a view? And that's where it's, that's that's what I feel like the difference between Instagram and Twitter lies. Are you fucking with reels? I haven't. I've never used it, and I want to so bad because I've been seeing it all on Instagram. Reels. I just I just restarted. I literally just restarted my Instagram page like not not too long ago. Mainly, I was using my company page for everything, and I'm like, I'm about to just start, you know, make my personal page. Right, right. One, I posted like four reels, bro. With literally no followers, pretty much, and all of them bitches got like a thousand views on them, bro. Like, like the real world, you just you just add music to it. The reels, the, have you been? On, reels is just like TikTok. So reels, okay, I've been on TikTok. I've been on yeah, TikTok. Reels, that's another platform you go crazy on too. Yeah, TikTok is really booming right now. Yeah, so, so like reels is pretty much like fucking like fucking TikTok, and they really trying to push this shit right now too. So like, pretty much anybody can put something on reels and it'll pick up like. Fast as fuck. X. Yeah, that's why I'm gonna start using real. Yeah, yeah, and then and then, I ain't now, use like, it. and then even now for like short form content and shit like that. Like a lot of platforms are trying to push like like thirty seconds max content. Like you know, like real short form shit. So like that's where that real like that reels comes into play. That's why all, that's why all my content you see it ain't no more than a minute long. It's no more than thirty seconds long. And I, I just gather people's attention just like that. They hear my loud voice. You know it's me. My voice is distinct. So as soon as they hear that, <laughs> man, how I already know what's going on. How long is it taking you to edit your shit up? Like, really, like, to come up with some shit? Like, how long is it really taking you bro, to edit? I, I, I BS you not, bro. It literally takes 10 seconds. I will have an idea in my head. Go do it. Edit the video. The video, I take. I edit the video. It'll take about a minute to add all, you know, the bleep noise and, uh, uh, the watermark in the video with my uh, ad name and my number. It don't take it long at all. And I wake up every day with a new idea. That's why I'm different, bro, because everybody look at look at other people for ideas. I literally wake up in the morning with new ideas. My mind is just like all over the place. And this goes back to what the fuck I was talking about, bro, when I say that content creators are the new business people. And you, you don't, you don't, I don't think you follow me yet, but this is the reason. This is the reason why I say this, and I preach this so much. So right now, right now, bro. Number one, it's it's already known. We we in we in a so, we in a social media age. So saying saying not to say, putting out this real like creative type of shit is the only thing that's really going to move your business forward. That's and, a fact. And it's really the only thing that's going to move your business forward, and these platforms don't want anything but that. Like literally, that's a fact. Like they don't want they and I they even have it down packed to like if they if if they see certain types of like words in your in your captions that even like go that even sound salesy like if you're telling people to move off the platform like click the link in my bio and shit like that your hey. reach will go down on your post because they literally just only want like real like organic creative like shit yes. like so like 
eating, like keep that as a basis. Now, companies know that, and this is the reason why companies are spending literally billions of dollars on influ on influencer marketing because right. they need creators to actually sell shit for them on social. You know what I'm saying? And, I, and it's all it's been a whole bunch of different companies and like people that okay. own like little boutiques and stuff. Oh, can you post this on your can you have this on in your next video and all this? I just be declining because it's like I'm just I'm doing me right now. So I gotta I gotta boost myself up first before I can I'm I'm happy, I'm happy that you're saying that. And this is moving back literally back into it. Now, these companies, how they reaching out to you right now, they they understand the game. But they don't they don't have but what they don't have is the mind of a creator to actually make good marketing marketing collateral. They don't they don't have it. So they have they have to pay you. Now you have all these creators out there that's making all of this cool shit, but one thing that, that the creators don't have is like a business mindset. So the business doesn't have a creative and the creative doesn't have a business mindset. So the business is reaching out to the creative and like, yo, can you make this video to da 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 da? And now the creative is all happy because they think that they're getting paid to make a video, da 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 da. When exactly. they really when they're they're that they actually losing, like they're losing on the deal. Like they have they have the ultimate leverage because they're the only one that really knows how to actually market. You know That's what I'm saying? And, and this is the reason why I tell people like, if you if you're really good at content creation, before you even think about a brand deal or before you think about doing some influence or marketing type shit, you need to sell your own product. And sell your own service before you try to do any of that, like any of it. You know what I'm saying? Because, nice. bro, like you making them video, you making them videos like that. Another company that mounts TVs, bro, they'll never be able to compete with you because they just don't have the marketing material for bro, it. You know what I'm saying? Bro, it's been uh, literally a thousand people sending me DMs of other people doing what I'm doing, and this is not the same because it's, it's not me. It's not me. <laughs> It's not me at all. So it's just like I just be looking at laughing like that's crazy. Exactly. <laughs> they, you try, they, but they, you can't. You can't succeed. You can't. You can't. And now this leads to another thing. This is another thing that I talk about is like I say. I say pretty much content creators are the new business people because they're the only ones that really know how to effectively market over social media. You know what nice. I'm saying? I believe like content. Uh, the next Apple, the next Amazon, or whatever is going to be built by by a content creator so in this and this and this is the and this is the reason why content creators have the ability to create to pretty much make their own markets so like how you just said like they doing the same shit but it's not the same you know what i'm saying like you create yeah, just... your own market like no other tv mounting company or whatever can possibly compete with you because you created your own your, your own market, you know what I'm saying? And I'm, and I'm good at what I do, and I'm good at what I do. It's not just the videos, it's not just because he's funny or we want him at our house. I'm good, I'm, I'm showing my work, I'm, I'm I'm boosting myself, you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm showing you that I'm good that's, at what I do, and I can make it fun. That's, and that's just the cherry, that's just you being good at it is just a cherry on the top, on, just a cherry on top, bro. Because Facts. it's a billion other companies that are good at TV, man. like it's a billion other, co other companies that are good at it. But Thanks. you can't. I mean, everybody can have a good product, but if you can't effectively sell it, like is is no, you know, is is no point. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like the, the game, you can't have a business if you're not making sales. You know what I'm saying? And that's where like the con, like the content creation really, really comes into play. And what's so like literally so fucking key, man. Like it's literally so so key. And that's what really like. Made me want to made me want to get you on this podcast because I see like I literally see how you going crazy how you going crazy on, on the content and I know on the back end like you making a killing like you making a killing off of it. it's probably people that don't stay anywhere near you right they yeah. probably stay across the country or some shit that's hitting no, you. I just missed five calls from Israel man <laughs> I literally just missed five calls from Israel bro like so you got I'm, motherfuckers from yes, Israel man. trying to get their TV mounted. I'm not BSing right now, bro. What does that say? You can you can block off the number if you want, but that is from Israel. Let me see if I can really focus. That thing say Israel. I don't know what kind of stash in between the number. I don't know whether it's from Israel, bro. That's, that's, Israel is honestly, it's a it's, it's a few it's a lot of rich motherfuckers out there that will literally fly you out. Just that's so a fact. I got I got requests. I got requests. Mm -hmm. I got them on standby. <laughs> So the, so the the shit the shit is really crazy now. 
now this moves into another conversation that, that I want to have. Like, now that you have this machine kind of set, like this content machine set, and you have a way to actually monetize your content, which is the uh, which is the TV mounting. Like, what's what's your what's your long term like game plan with all this? Honestly, uh, I don't plan on mount TVs for the rest of my life. Of course, um, this is like the backbone of something great. Haven't foreseen foreseen what's going to be great that's coming my way, but my main focus is really um, I'm into media as far as videography, photography, and editing, and uh, all that good jazz. I'm into stuff like that. So this is really helping me get. One, the money I need, the fan base I need, the customers I need for anything else I want to do with life. Because I feel like they just not here for the TV mount. They're you know, they don't be here for whatever I go through. Because I get, like I said, I get a thousand DMs of people just telling me, keep going, whatever you're doing, you're doing good. You know, so it's just like, I feel like I can market myself with anything that comes to me in the future. So with that being said, in the long run, hopefully I can be able to do what I want to do with life as far as, you know, becoming uh, a filmographer. Or if not, I can be in front of the camera. You know, I'm real good in front of the camera and behind the camera. So with that being said, I can do a commercial. Hopefully a, a company will hit me up like Sprite or something. They'll be like, listen, That's we're going to give you $8 million to do commercials for us for five years. You know, so I just I don't know where it's going to take me. So right now I'm just doing what I need to do to be successful. So this keep my head in the game. So this this is this is the reason why I ask you this is because this one leak that I see in in your in your whole game right now. And all and honestly in a lot of content creators game, bro. Like Let I me know. Talk to me. Number one, you need you need a you need a website. Number one. X. But but not for the reasons that you probably thinking that you need a website for. So like of course you need a website. You need a website to like have a platform of your own, you know what I'm saying? Because if Instagram shuts down, you know what I'm saying? You need an email list, you know what I'm saying? You need shit like that, you know what, you know what I mean? Like, if anything ever happens, you like you need your own, your own site, and also just for booking your services and shit like that too. Like, you know what I'm saying? You you need your own site. I do get tired of booking on my phone. <laughs> so like, so like that's not that's not even the reason. The reason why the reason why is because you need data. So like. In the future, you're going to have to run ads on whatever service or product that you're selling. Like <laughs> you're going to, you're going to have, you're going to have to do it. Right now, you're getting organic traffic, of course. But like when we're talking about scaling, scaling, really scaling shit up, like you're going to need data, like be, behind every everything that you're doing to really scale to really scale up ads. And I'm gonna break all of this, break all of this down. So first and foremost, when you make your site. The first thing that you would have to do is like connect something called like a Facebook pixel to, to your to your website. What's that? You know what a Facebook pixel is or no? So like what a fake I mean, that's why I'm happy we having this conversation. So what a Facebook pixel is, you ever sent you ever clicked on the ad or went on the website and then you then after you went off that you couldn't do shit but keep seeing that same ad over. Oh me, over. yeah, because I go look at some socks and see them same socks going on going down on Instagram or Facebook. Exactly. So the reason why you're able to do that is because that pixel pretty much enables you to follow people around the Internet. That's crazy. Like literally, That's like a, a Facebook pixel will let you follow people around the Internet everywhere. No matter what pl you can be in an app, in a fucking app and your pixel already got that data in there. So they'll be showing your ad inside of a fucking app. That's cut. That's so tough. Like so like it'll literally follow you all all around the Internet. Now, when it comes to having that pixel set up on your site, now you you probably get in a, a, a crazy amount of traffic like uh, on, on your social media account right now. Crazy amount of traffic. Now, uh, exactly. now, if that all of that traffic was going into a site that was actually being pixeled or the data was actually being captured, you can do so much shit with that data. Cause, cause when you start, when you start running, and and mind you, tell me to slow down if it, you know. You know. Are you good? Yeah. So like, you can do so much shit, like with, with that data, it's not even funny. So like, say if you're running an ad, right, and you know, like your customer is a, uh, I don't know, a thirty year old mom from Missouri that has two kids that likes to watch 
MTV at 10 o'clock at night that, I don't know, drives a Chevy Caravan. What You can get that targeted with who you point your ass towards, right? And nice. now that you have all of that data, it'll be so easy to actually get that person to buy from you. You know what I'm saying? Because you have all of that data in, inside inside of your Facebook pixel. And that's not even the end. That's not even the end of it. That pixel, another thing that that pixel does is it'll it'll get another person that's exactly like the person that bought from you. Because you got to think, you know how much time people are spending on the Internet and how much Facebook knows more about you than your parents do. Like honestly, Facebook and Google knows more about you than your parents do. That's so if a person goes onto your website and buys a TV mounting service from you, right? Facebook captures all of that data and it'll go and find thousands of people that are exactly like the person that, that thinks exactly the same as that person that bought from me that likes all of the same shit. Like literally, like that's bringing in more clientele. Exactly. Easily, easily. Fast. I'm going to say fast, easy too. Easy. So like say, if, say if you got your site set up, say if you got your pixel set up, you got all of this traffic flowing, flowing from your Instagram page and all of the other media channels that you got. And it's just filling up this pixel, this Facebook pixel with all of this fucking data. Now you go in and you just start investing something like, I don't know, $25 a day, right? On, on in Facebook ads. That $25 can be turned into $250 just off of $25 per day. You know what I'm saying? So you would pay five dollars in one day, and you would fuck around and make two hundred and fifty dollars that same day by doing nothing but running fucking ads, and you're just following people all around the internet. And then on top of that, you remember you're a content creator, so content creators are the new business people. So now you can create dope ass ads because you know how to effectively make yeah, marketing. Yeah, yeah. Make marketing yeah. Now, if you see a lot of if you see a lot of social media ads that are out now, they literally look like ads. And that's why they, they do. Don't, and that's why they don't perform well. I mean, you scroll through your Instagram or whatever, you will see a billion different ads in your in, in your in your Instagram feed. But they don't look they don't they all look like ads, which which is why they don't really perform as good as they can, which is why companies need you to make shit that doesn't look like an ad. <laughs> like even how we was talking about TikTok and shit like that. TikTok, like TikTok's whole like uh like slogan when it comes to like advertising is don't make ads, make TikToks. So like if you really think about that, they don't want you to make anything that looks like an ad. They want you to make your video that's saying, Let me come out to a motherfucking TV. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? So like that's like that's like the thing, that's like the thing that I feel like you missing like in your game right now that you need to literally get on like ASAP because every, like if you're thinking about it like each day that goes by that's all traffic that's being not, that's especially not when I drop a video that's when the most traffic come in because people repost repost you but like, I'll post a video one morning and then at 12 o'clock I get a thousand views 1500 views 2000 views on my story and get 10 times more on a video. So people coming in, looking at my page, they're looking through. Oh, snap. Okay, cool. Whole time, that can be on a little pixel thing you was talking about. And people scroll down, they see me again. Like, oh, there you go. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> hey, bro, like, and, and, and this, and you already got the content game down. If you add this into your mix, you will really be unstoppable. Like, literally fucking unstoppable bro <laughs> like oh, like like it's not it like it's not even funny because because you put out some kind you put out some content on your social media right and typically it takes people about seven looks at your content to really take action and buy something from you That's you got to put out a lot of material to, to get that person to really take action or you got to do like contests or like sales or whatever to really you know get that person to take action but now if you just fucking pixel that person and then you just got some uh, ad that's constantly running in front of their fucking face and they can't stop seeing you. The ad is doing the work for you. So instead of you having to make seven pieces of content, you making one that's just constantly being thrown in front of that person's face over and over and over and over and over again. You get what I'm saying? Nice. So like, like that's like, bro, like if you put that shit into your mix, bro, you would be unstoppable and that data will last forever. Like literally for fucking ever. So like, literally, literally, bro, literally. 
teaching me about the game, and I ain't know it was this much into it. Yeah, bro. This, this a lot is, of people don't. A lot of a lot of content creators don't, bro. This and this is why I say like the content creators need the business, need the business in, and the business people need the creative in. But if you're a creative and you can take both, like who's gonna fucking stop you? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's nobody. Just, nobody. Just people just not fuck. Like content creators aren't aware. Like they they are too focused on like brand deals or like I don't know like I don't I I it's 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 a lot of just bull like no I wouldn't even say bullshit it's not bullshit because people just literally don't know but like if people can just literally if content creators can literally just get educated on on this end bro like literally bro so say boom in the future you you get everything else going with your media company you're not even fucking with tv mounting no more or maybe you just create like a side business and you got people going out mounting the tvs for you and you just creating the marketing and the marketing behind it you know what I'm saying? yeah i thought about that too yeah so now like okay now you you got a media company going and now you got all of that data and now you can easily get your media company booming because you got <laughs> all of the information and data that you need to start really advertising to these people. So it's like, it's like, bro, bro, it's it's like, <laughs> man, yo, it's it's a whole trip, like a whole like trail behind this shit, bro. But like saying saying that to say, man, like you you really got you you really got everything like that you need. It's just that one, literally, bro, just that one fucking. Piece we got a network, bro. We got a, we got a definitely network because uh, I'm gonna need that information two times over. Oh yeah, oh yeah, definitely, bro. <laughs> need that information two times over. I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna definitely put you I'm gonna definitely put you together, bro. Don't 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 even worry about it. So, uh, on to a, a few a few other a few other things I want to touch on YouTube. Have you been really digging in on YouTube? What's been up with that? I haven't, and again, I haven't. Um. YouTube ain't really been my biggest strong point, but uh, I got the reason why is because I personally don't have like an actual laptop to actually edit my videos and put it on YouTube, even though I can do it on my phone. But YouTube would be way more faster with you know with all my content and stuff. That's so facts. that's definitely that's definitely facts. That's definitely facts. Are you building anything like? Are you building any type of like email list or anything like that? Anything what do you mean like by email list? Now? Like literally a list of people's emails and like say if say if people I actually have it. What's the what's the deal with that? Which why well, well, I need to do that? That goes that goes back into like go, going back and going back into the marketing end, bro. Say if you build say if people fuck with your content so much, they they want like to know exactly when it's gonna come out. So you, you tell people to subscribe to my email list, give me your email and your phone number, and you will get a text message in the email when my next video comes out. You know what I'm saying? Like, and you start, you start, building, you start building a big, a big ass list like that. Now, as soon as you put out a video, if it's a thousand people on your list, that's a thousand people that immediately view your shit. You know what I'm saying? Just because, that's smart. because you got a whole list, and that's not even the end of it. You can start advertising to them within their email and within their fucking text messages. I'm pretty sure you get companies like emailing you all the time, like that shit. All the time. Hurt. That shit works, and especially like uh, text message marketing and stuff like that too, bro. Like that shit is that. I just literally like I just literally watched a video yesterday of this kid. He's maybe I think he's like twenty two years old. He got like a a, a text message text message marketing company. I can't remember his fucking name, but like the open rates for like emails. I mean not emails, but text messages. It's like sixty to seventy percent. So if you send out ten text messages. 70% of those people, 60 to 70% of those people are going to open it and click on something within it. So, like, if you take, so say if you send out a mass text message and it got some funny ass shit in it, maybe like a video or, or a meme or something in it, and it's giving them a link to go to whatever, you know, whatever video that you just put out. You know what I'm saying? Like, you can, you can literally, you can go so crazy with that. Like, like it's not even funny. And people, and people will sign up for it. Like, you got a way bigger following. A way bigger following than I do, and I got, I got about maybe like, let me look at this shit. I think I got like somewhere around like two thousand people on my uh, on my list, and you literally got fucking quadruple million times as many followers as I got. <laughs> so like, your list can be fucking stupid. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm about to get me. I'm about to go ahead and start my email list, man. I ain't know nothing about that. 
For real, bro. Like, it's this is, bro, it's just you just getting hit to this e like this e commerce end of it. And you know what I'm saying? Like, but nice. like I said, bro, like I said, bro, I'm gonna definitely, I'm gonna definitely, definitely, definitely put you put you together with some shit. No, but as far as like opportunities wise, like what's who's been like some crazy people or like some crazy opportunities that you that's that you've gotten so far, you know, from you making these videos? Um, it's a few, a few, I've seen a few accounts with uh over well over a hundred thousand followers. I can't remember the names. One of them was the guy Reggie um I forgot his Instagram name, but he created the videos of uh remakes of like music videos and stuff. Uh he probably got about nine hundred thousand followers and he wanted me to fly out to Texas to mount his TV. And there's a few <laughs> other people I can't mention. I forgot their names, but uh this this uh video I got coming out, I got a music video coming out with the song I made about Mount TVs. That's um, Cardi B or Megan Thee Stallion, you see it? Cause uh, one of them need to go ahead and put me on. Yo, yo, I saw, I heard that shit on your. Uh, I think it was on your story. I think I seen a video of you in a studio, like in a studio. Yeah, recording. I was fucking weak. That shit was funny. That shit was funny as hell, bro. But that's that's fucking dope, man. That's fucking dope, bro. But like overall, man. I pretty much just wanted to get, you know, before we wrap up, bro, I just wanted to get you on this podcast so people can really see, like, number one, like, the importance of content creation and, and really and really where it can get you in your business. Because so many entrepreneurs are, like, so sales-focused and they really ignore the content in. So, like, I really just wanted to get you on here so people can really see, like, you know, what really what's the deal with, with, the, whole, with the whole creation in. Facts. Then even for content creators, content creators, I wanted to get you on here because a lot of content creators aren't selling their own shit. They're like so focused on a fucking brand deal. Oh yeah, I was on a business end. Exactly. And they not really <laughs> understanding like you're losing. Like, <laughs> like you need to be selling your own shit. And now you had this TV mounting service and you just using your content. You really mon you monetizing your like none of these videos that you putting out are even free. Like, like all all the videos that you putting out are really money because you got a, something to sell behind it. You know what I mean? So like, yes. I really want to get you on here so other content creators that are listening to this or watching, however you know, however way they get on this video, can see like this is the move. Like content creators are the new business people. Like how like how I always fucking say, but like, bro, yeah, man, I re just really want to get you on here for that exact reason, bro. I really fuck with everything that you're doing, and like I said, bro, I'm gonna get you together. I'm gonna get you together on everything that we just talked about in here, bro. So you can get start stacking up your data, bro, and really start. We need, to level we, need, we, need we need to we need to do an interview a year from now to see where I'm at because <laughs> that's gonna be hey a year from now. I feel like it's gonna be something great. Hell yeah, bro. We need to get Hell a before yeah. and after. That's yeah. how I started, and that's where I'm at. Back. Cause I know I know the interview next year gonna be some great. Hell yeah, I, I completely agree, bro. So look, let people know where they can find you one more time, and uh, you can find me on Instagram, uh, Twitter, and Facebook. Type in Maurice Horner at his name Maurice. Um, if they don't pop up, type in uh, at ambition a m b i t i o n dot media one ten on Instagram, and you can see my page from there. All my content. All my sales, everything is on my social media. Gotcha. And there we have it, people. So that's another episode of the Photo Winners Podcast. I'm your host, Nate, and we will see you next time. Peace.